Hi there. Well, hello there, friend. Welcome to the Fast Science Learning Boutique. Where I can learn any science fast, fast, fast. Hey, how, how did you know that? Well, I've been here before. Don't you recognize me? No. No, you don't look familiar. What? So, what can I do for you? Well, I'm due to get a vaccine soon. Lucky you. Lucky. Yeah, I'll explain later. But what did you want to know? Well, how vaccines work, why I need to get them, why I need to get this same vaccine twice, um, are vaccines good or bad? So, like, everything. Yeah. Okay. okay. How much do you understand about the immune system? Well, I know a little, but I'd like to start simple and then get more complex. Okay, so you want a basic understanding of the science and the history behind vaccines. You want to understand sometimes why you need to get more than one. And you want to explain the two levels of complexity in a way that's easy to understand. And you want to know if vaccines are good or bad. Hmm, that's a lot. Maybe we should make more than one video. How long do we have? Well, about that long. Wait, where am I looking? You know, at the little progress oh. bar down there. Yeah. It's not a lot of time. Let's do three videos. Sounds good. Yeah. So, are we- Your immune system! Oh, we're starting, okay. Is there for you to fight off disease and infection. From viruses? Viruses, bacteria, and fungi. But we'll focus on viruses right now. When you get a virus, it gets into your system and it starts taking over your cells to make more of itself. Ew! I know, right? And your immune system is there to fight it. But first it needs to learn that there's a bad guy out there in your body. Okay. So think of your immune system sort of like a police force. They're looking for the bad guy. When an immune cell discovers a bad guy, it tells the body what that bad guy looks like, and then they all know to look out for it. And once they're looking, then they know how to get it. Sounds pretty easy. Yeah. But remember, the bad guy is using all this time before your body learns about it to make more of itself. Ew! Getting one bad guy? That's easy. Getting one million? That's hard. It can make a million of itself? A million? <laughs> that's easy! Especially in the time it takes for your immune system to start fighting back. And don't forget, once you have a whole lot of that virus in your body, it starts spreading to other people in stuff that you touch, or when you sneeze or cough, or even just breathe out. Ew! And eventually your body starts producing a ton of fighters that go out and fight that infection. But by that point, it's usually an all-out war. And that's when I feel sick. Yeah. Is it the virus that makes me sick or my body fighting? A little bit of both. But then my body fights it off and I get better. That's the way it works. But the bonus is that your body has now learned how to fight it. So if that virus ever shows its face again, your immune system knows it immediately. So after I'm sick, I'm immune? Yep. So if all this happens naturally, why do I need a vaccine? Well, two reasons. You might be able to fight off a virus, no problem. But somebody else who isn't a young, healthy adult, maybe if you give it to them, they might not have an easy time. Right. And the other reason is some viruses are much too strong. Some are so bad you might even die. Oh no. For all of history, humans have dealt with some pretty awful diseases. One called smallpox was awful. It killed one in three people. And those that survived it had terrible scars. Smallpox? I don't know that. I have a picture. Do you want to see? Wait, hold on. Let's make sure I'm ready to see it. Okay? Okay, ready. Oh wow, that looks bad. But the first vaccine was developed to fight smallpox. People learned that once you got it, you never got it again. Like chickenpox. Yeah, still, getting it once is bad enough. But there was a different kind. Cowpox. Cowpox? <laughs> what? There's chickenpox and cowpox? What's next? No, this Lama is serious. <laughs> this is serious, we... <laughs> no, wait! Foxpox. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. You were saying. People who worked with cows would often get cowpox, but it wasn't very bad. No? Nope. No scars. No death. And when they got better, they were immune to smallpox. Cool. There were even people who would get smallpox, but it would be a really mild case. And doctors found out that if you give people that mild version of smallpox, then once they got better, they were immune to the really bad kind of smallpox. So that's how a vaccine works? Yeah, it's basically like giving your body a whole bunch of wanted posters for the police force so they know what disease to look out for before ever having to get sick. So did I get a vaccination for smallpox when I was a kid and that's why I don't have to worry about it? Nope, you never got a vaccination for smallpox. I didn't? No one has in quite a while. What? Why? Because there is 
No more smallpox. Huh? It's gone. Completely eradicated. What do you mean gone? You know how species can go extinct? Like dinosaurs? Yep. Smallpox is extinct. It took us 200 years and a worldwide vaccination program, but there has not been a single case of smallpox since 1979. Wow. That's great. You bet it is. Okay, so I think I get it, but the vaccine isn't actually dropping wanted posters, right? So how does it really work? And how come I can get a vaccine for like the measles and not for a common cold? And how come I have to get more than one vaccine? And why do I need to get a flu shot every year? All great questions, which we should tackle in part two. Part two? Where's part two? Uh, it's over here in recommended videos. Um, I don't think I see it. Right. Well, let's just link it in the comments to make sure so people can find That's it. That's a good idea. But wait, what if people are watching this video the week it comes out? Well, then they'd have to wait till next week to find well, it. Well, how will they remember? Well, they could always just hit the subscribe button oh. down there. Well, they ha it looks like they haven't done that yet. And what about us? Do we just, like, wait around? I guess. Ooh, let's do a Patreon shout out while we do. This video goes out to my our, our, sorry, patrons who support us on Patreon. Yeah, like Nadine and her family from New Dundee, Ontario, and Brayden and Brielle of East Bethel, Minnesota. Really good people. Bands of science. So I don't really want to wait here for a week, so why don't I come back? Yeah, good idea. See you later.